Now time to spotlight nuclear energy, and it's my pleasure to welcome in our next guest. Uh, it's Jay Yu. He's the executive chairman and president of Nano Nuclear Energy. No one better to talk about this. A very, very um, in-demand uh, product and service, but also a very timely one. Jay, first off, I want to congratulate you on what's been a really uh, successful uh, last year plus for you and your company. But for those who maybe aren't super familiar, I know the name does a lot to get us uh, to what you guys do, but maybe the elevator pitch of what Nano is all about. Yeah, thanks for having me. Nano Nuclear is a vertically integrated microreactor company. And what that means is 20 megawatts or less. So we're able to mass produce our reactors in a factory setting, transported by traditional road, ship, and train, and assemble this at site. Um, there's a huge bump recently in the AI data center and big tech uh, community getting involved. And I think that's a reason why the, that nuclear is put back in the forefront. Uh, Nano could help supply these data centers in the future. Uh, we're currently being assessed by many of these data centers right now. So we're excited about the future. Yeah, I can see why. I mean, one, just to be fair about it, there's been a stigma that's kind of plagued this industry but it seems like we've certainly uh, worked our way at least partially past that in the last few years um, from a political standpoint, from a maybe public interest standpoint. But then you mentioned it, this AI build out in the pace at which it's happening has created a tremendous need for power. Talk to us about your general energy demand outlook in sort of this ever changing environment. Yeah, the U.S. wants to quadruple nuclear energy by 2050. So with that thesis, how are you going to get there? You're going to need nuclear and a lot of nuclear, too. I think one of the areas um, that, that especially the current administration and the Department of Energy is focused is they continue to state that under this administration, there will be a nuclear renaissance. And I think the new reactor technologies, like what nano nuclear is building with our high technology readiness level, Kronos modular micro reactor, will be able to meet that need in the future. Jay, talk to us about this deal that was uh, recently announced. Uh, I believe uh, the governor of Illinois, where I'm sitting now, uh, Pritzker, as well as uh, the University of Illinois, Big Ten school. I'm from Nebraska, so we know it well. Uh, talk to us about this deal and why it's so important. Yeah, so the state saw our momentum and, and, and our passion on, on where we want to establish it. And we picked Illinois because it's strategically located, uh, you know, with our partner at the University of Illinois. But also, you know, we're looking to create 50 uh, full-time high paying jobs. And we're already halfway through there, um, but we're not gonna stop there. We're planning to hire hundreds of high paying jobs there. The the grant was 6.8 million. That applies towards the job creation, but that's just the beginning. I think the state's gonna support us a lot more. We're, uh, our uh, building is in uh, Oak Brook, Illinois. It'll be used for dual purpose for a demonstration site uh, where we also, uh, assemble our components. This actually ties in nicely to, to my next question. Um, in this time, you know, we don't do the, the politics here, but I don't think it's, uh, you know, a, an unfair thing to say that there's not a lot of agreement uh, on, on multiple sides, but you have uh, the president, uh, you know, just, just recently signing things, I think back in May, uh, accelerating the deployment of some of these technologies. You're obviously talking about doing things here and, and signing deals in, in Illinois. Uh, it seems like this is something that's uh, of agreement. So talk to us about the importance of getting sort of that political backing across both sides at the moment. Yeah, uh, Nano is comprised also of former U.S. national leaders. Like our chair is Rick Perry, the former Secretary of Energy under the last Trump administration. We also have the former CFO of the DOE, John Vonglis. So we, we, we understand D.C., we understand what, the needs of the American public are. But yeah, nuclear is one of the few uh, areas that there's massive bipartisan support. So, you know, this is a rare case in DC, obviously, because there's been always a tug and pull there. But 
with nuclear, everyone supporting, even the previous administration, the Biden administration supported it. So it's just a carry on. I think under the Trump administration, we're really breaking out here because they're really bullish about nuclear, uh, especially the new nuclear technologies where nano is developing for the next generation. Talk to us about that next generation and, and where things are going. You got a front row seat to this space at the moment. It's ever changing. Demand is off the charts. Uh, what's something you're excited about? You know, you choose your time frame. Next year, next couple of years, whatever you want. Yeah, for Nano, there's tons of catalysts, I would say, coming up, especially in the next year. We're planning drilling in the coming weeks on the campus at the University of Illinois. Um, also, we're going to use that data that we drill and submit in Q1 of 2026, a construction permit to the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. And, you know, I believe in, in the race for the microreactor, uh, Nano will be in the lead because I don't think any other microreactor has submitted a construction application for that. Uh, it will take also about a year and a half for approval. Um, and we're hopeful that it could be sooner because of the Trump kind of uh, executive orders and, and how the momentum's going on um, in the nuclear space. But at that point, we'll be able to pour concrete and steel at the University of Illinois on the campus and, and you know, being supported by the state, federal, um, and, and the university, which is a leading institution in nuclear engineering. I mean, this is an incredible time for us. Yeah, it, it really does feel like a tipping point. I know I'm not alone when I say I, I'm super excited to see where Nano uh, and the rest of this uh, nuclear industry goes uh, in, in the coming years. It, it seems to be uh, critical uh, to, to so many different uh, parts of, uh, of the economy and particularly this AI build out. J.U., I appreciate you taking time on your, on your busy day, particularly on a Friday. Wish you a great weekend and we'll uh, catch up soon. That's J.U., executive chairman and president of Nano Nuclear Energy.